Hello and welcome back to my old McDonald's had a farm channel. Yes, today I am doing cow print nails. So let's get started. First off, I am showing you what I'm using and this is black from Premier Gel. White, also from Premier Gel and their matte top coat. And I'm using some gold leaf that I bought from eBay. So first off, I'm going to go in and give this two coats of white. I shall be doing that on three nails and on another two I'll be doing two coats on black. So I hope you're all safe and well. I know there's been two storms in the past week. Storm Kira and now we have Storm Dennis the Menace. Yes causing havoc across the UK and Ireland. So yeah, I hope you're all safe and well. Okay, so I'm still doing, right, so I'm onto doing the black nails now. So what have you been doing to entertain yourselves while it's been this kind of weather? You're having some cosy days and nights in. With a snack or two, a wee takeaway, a wee glass of wine or whatever your tipple is. There we go. So that's the first bit done. Now I'm going to take the two-in-one base from Premier Gel. And I'm going to put a thin, even coat of that all over just to give us a tacky layer. I'm going to cure that in the lamp. And then I'm going to take pieces of my gold leaf that I've just ripped up and place them on just randomly on the nail. Pressing that in to flatten it. This is me trying to get teeny tiny little pieces. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> there we go. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to do the other one. I'll just fast forward this one for you. Gently press that in. There we go. So I'm just going to take this Born Pretty Ombre brush and put some of the white on it, wipe off so it's not fully loaded and just quickly swipe that onto the nail in whatever direction takes your fancy. There we go. And I'm going to do the same on the other black nail. There we 
There we go. And now I'm going to map top coat these. I'm currently waiting on our dinner arriving. Lovely wee takeaway tonight. There we go. Right, so I've taken my ugly duckling striper and nail comet embossing gel in the colour gold, which is attack free embossing gel, so you don't need to worry about any sticky layer, so you can do this on top of anything. Um, and I'm just going to outline the nail this is the first time I've used this brush and I have to say I'm in love so easy to work with there we go so that's them done. Now I'm onto the white nails. So I'm just gonna add some of the gold leaf into the base coat dispersion layer again. So I do two nails like this, I've only filmed the one. There we go. I decided to put that back. I thought I was going to put it on there. Um, so now I'm taking my dotting tool and the black that we've been using and just going to randomly wiggle that about and make some shapes. And the wee black dots, they're good because that kind of adds to the design and cow print is like that. So if you touch it by accident, it doesn't really matter because it's part of, it's going to look like it's part of the design anyway. So I'm just adding these wherever I feel like it. If you want to cover up about the gold, then you can do it using this. I'm sitting here doing this voiceover and I can't set a piece. I just want to dance to this music. Don't know why. <laughs> there we go. That's me just trying to kind of lightly create small, very small patches of the black. There we go. Once you're happy with that design, I'm then going to paint the bottom, I would say bottom third of this nail, black. Do two coats of that. Your line doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we're going to use the gold embossing gel over that anyway. So I'm going to take some of the gold leaf again, just add that on. We're adding it in the black as well as the white. So we're just going to tie the whole design together by using both on one nail. There we go. So that's us done with that. And now I'm going to <coughs> do some brush strokes again. I 
And now we're going to make our cowprint again. And I thought that bit of gold was a bit big, so I'm just going to cover some of that up with the black. I was kind of tapping it rather than sliding it across the nail um, just to make sure it gave it that kind of irregular shape. There we go. So I've cured that in the lamp and now I'm going in with the embossing gel. Now technically I should have done this after I matte top coat, but I forgot. So I did it this way. <laughs> but I would suggest um, doing it after your matte top coat. There we go, just going to top coat that now with the matte top coat. This is me trying to avoid the gold. So there we are, this is my take on cow print. Um, well, we better, s I don't know, what would you say? Pizzazz? Cow print with pizzazz. That's the one. So hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you like to give me a wee thumbs up, please. And please consider subscribing. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching again. And stay creative.